Yeah, and, and you know he's pitched well, but not in not from start to finish. You know he's he's had some lapses at times. You know it's tough to come down. Um, but I, absolutely, tonight was was an outstanding ball game. He he absolutely had control. He left a couple changeups up. They got back to back doubles. They did a great job of, of making sure they got their only two opportunities, and uh, <coughs> we we didn't let that beat us. And the uh, heat didn't seem to affect him at all. He was still no. throwing 98. In the yeah, and and if, I think the key to that is he kept his pitch count down. He he threw seven. Uh, I think through seven innings had only thrown 82 pitches, so that's pretty good. That's that's really good. Good to be back home. Oh mercy, <laughs> we've been I've, you know we've been gone. I've been gone over two weeks. Yeah. The team's been gone two weeks. That's a long stint away from home, and and it hasn't been easy with all the travel. You know because we you know we had the break, so a lot of guys took took a hike. We we finished two games in Indy. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it's been a long stretch and, and not an easy stretch, but it's definitely nice to be home. And what about uh, just so I'm saying, getting a first win out of the way as you guys try to get back into the race? Well, we need to get back. You know, we, we actually played okay on the road. Uh, we, we had three games that we should have won if we can finish it off in the eighth and ninth inning. And, uh, so we, you know, we didn't play that poorly. We actually started hitting a little bit finally. That's been my biggest concern is our offense. And and we had a pretty decent road trip offensively. And even though tonight we didn't get a ton of hits, I thought we had some good quality at bats. How's the uh, stand-in pitching coach doing yeah. so far? Uh, you know what? He's uh, done real well. He, he's a nice fit with Teddy. They're In a way, they're two of a kind. Uh, I, I would say the biggest difference between the two is one's right-handed and the other's left-handed. <laughs> Could you still get you an out if you needed one? Uh, well, he's left-handed, so you never know. <laughs> and he hasn't had both hips replaced, so, you know. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank you. Skip, uh, talk about Juan Francisco and when you, we could expect him back. You know what? That's a good question. I wish I could give you. I, I've started. I actually inquired about him today. I still think he's a couple of weeks away. I know that the surgery went well. It was what they expected. Nothing big. Uh, so I think they were looking at four or five weeks, and and we're over two weeks through that. So I haven't heard much lately. But now that we're home, usually when we get home, we hear a little more. Um, and can you just talk about the uh, futures game experience and what it was like? Being there with your guys, you know, uh, it yeah, was yeah. it was a lot of fun. It it was a lot of fun to watch all the talent that was there. Uh, you know, watching batting practice and then and then hitting infield and getting to see guys throw uh, was was very impressive. You can tell why all these guys are our future stars. Uh, to see that much talent all together, it was it was fun. It was enjoyable, and it was also a kick. You know, a guy that's uh, I don't think I'm a future. Uh, star maybe, but uh, it was nice to be there with them and, and get to know a couple of them.